Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year everyone. It has been um, probably like two weeks since I posted a video. Are we used to that by now? Absolutely. But anyways, today I'm so excited to be trying out one of the new porcelain skins, which is a brand new skin line that Riot has added to the game or is going to add to the game. And I'm trying porcelain Lissandra and um, these skins are going to be coming out in I believe 12.2. I actually don't even know like what patch we're on right now. I think because the new season is starting the day after filming this video. So I'm assuming we're on 12.1 and it's going to come out in 12.2. But yes, this skin is called Porcelain Lissandra and it looks absolutely stunning. And there's a whole skin line about these porcelain skins. And one of them is this Kindred skin. One's a Lux skin that I'm going to film a video on as well. Um, but it seems like these are themed around like uh, Chinese or I'm not sure like which other Asian cultures use these types of porcelain like pottery i think but it seems to be based off of like chinese pottery and it's really beautiful and this is how her model looks and let's go check out her recall here too so she has like a lotus base as her flowers hmm. cassiopeia lines okay that's pretty cool so it's kind of like i guess i'm like a snake pot i just noticed my little horns are like snakes too so that's pretty cool and I hope you guys had an amazing new year. And if you guys do like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really does help with the algorithm and it lets me know like you guys, if you guys like this or don't like it. Oh my God, those auto attacks feel amazing. The cold will okay, wait a second. Lissandra is one of those champions that her skins are kind of dictated by her auto attacks to me. Some of Lissandra's skins auto attacks feel really bad. Like maybe it's just personal preference, but I really think that Coven's auto attacks are really bad. But these ones feel really nice and the effects are really cool as well. So there's like a flower by my hand and it's really like, there's a lot of effects on these autos. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like that Riot's trying out something new with these skins for sure. So my Q, it's like I'm just breaking pottery on them. You know, like, have you ever just wanted to like smash a pot on someone's head? Because if you have, then here we go. This is your skin. And I do really love how there's like a lotus kind of looking bloom at my feet for the, uh, for my ice. And we are playing against Akshan and my favorite champion in League of Legends, Shaco. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to bully him now early game and see if I could land some Qs. I love that slow effect too. If you notice, the thing that I hit with my Q gets afflicted with like a, a flower on it. You're going to see if when I Q again. Yeah, you see there's like little like uh, porcelain flowers that seem to bloom out when I use an ability. I'm actually going to probably try to kill him here in a second. Yeah, I'm going to try to kill him here. I definitely can. So let's, we're going to see my E and my W. Oh, there's Shaco. Maybe I can't. Oh no, not like this. Not like this, guys. I'm crying. That's so sad. I guess we get to see the death animation early, which I didn't even really pay attention to, but I do see there's some weird, like, shards there. That's so sad, though, that I died to, like, the second I go in, Shaco's like, hello there, and then he just kills me, so that kind of sucks, but it's okay. Playing at a disadvantage, we're doing a realistic game here. I believe that her hair does have physics on it as well. Uh, kind of. Uh, kind of physics. It's it's a little bit scuffed, but it doesn't look terrible, her hair physics, so that's kind of cool. And this skin is going to have chromos as well, and also a border. I believe it's going to have a border and be part of an event pass that's going to be coming out next pass, alongside the new firecracker skins. Yeah, so that really sucks for me that I died right there, but it's okay. We will make do with what we were dealt. Oh, get out of here, Shaco. Leave me alone. And my wave's pretty good right now. So Shaco's level 4. It's fine. We're still gonna be poking. And Shaco's going topside, so we're gonna hug bot side here now, too. Okay. Akshan, you shall pay for your crimes against the pottery. Very creative skin line, I feel. Um, I like how in the past two years it's felt like Riot's really done a lot of new skin lines and I actually think this is a pretty cool one for like Chinese New Year. I do think Shaco might be coming back to me though so I'm going to be a little bit careful. I do have this ward here which should, you know, sniff him out but he might like teleport from the rafter wall so 
going to be a little bit careful because of that. The sound effects are pretty nice too. Uh, that's kind of the thing that I'm least impressed by, I'd say, right now. They, it sounds okay. I think they could have maybe made it sound... I have no idea what I'm talking about about sound, sound design. But I think maybe it could, would have been cooler if it sounded more like broken like plates or something. But it sounds fine. Just that's the thing, my one complaint so far. The sound effects aren't really super wowing me. But that's okay. I think it's still an amazing skin so far. And I can't wait to see the ult. Because I'm definitely going to just straight up ult this guy. Especially if I have my ignite up again. Break his bone plating, and then I'm just going to ult him. So we're going to get level 6 off through one minion. So I'm going to try to see if I can... Okay, that was cool. Oh, wait a second, the thralls too. <gasps> okay, that's really cool. Wait a second, so when I ult them, I like encase them in a tomb of like lotus pottery. And then I encase them in another lotus pottery with my W. And then I break a plate over their head, and then they turn into a... They turn into a plate. That was really cool. I like that a lot. This world has um, I wonder if it actually looks different if I ult myself. Probably we'll see that soon. And this is my partner, Porcelain Kindred, who is another one of the new skins coming out. Oh god. Oh my god. Ixan's ult, I swear, is like one of the worst abilities in the game. That thing gets stuck on everything. So we saw Shaco was topside. I'm gonna like hug bot side a little bit better and I didn't get the kill sadly on Akshan so my score looks ugly but it's okay. We at least got a kill on him. And for my build I'm just going to be going like a basic burst mage Lissandra build. I want to go any item that will give me more damage. So I'm going to be going uh, Ludens into probably either Horizon Focus or Shadow Flame and then maybe Void Staff. They've buffed Lissandra actually quite a bit, I believe, over last season. I think that she's one of the most, like, underrated mid laners. I do think that she's pretty good right now. Uh, she's more of a counter pick than she is, like, a blind pick. But there's some Lissandra players, and by some I mean, like, two, because there's probably only two Lissandra players that exist. If you're one of those two Lissandra players, let me know in the comments. Um, I think that she's really strong, and they can make her work in, like, any situation. I actually... Funny story, I actually went through it like a hardcore Lissandra one-trick phase back in like 2014. Like when I was in like 10th grade, I for some reason became like super obsessed with Lissandra and only played her for like three months. And like really only played her for three months, so that was a phase that I went through. I think Shaco's somewhere in this jungle, he's probably like here. Or he might be on Dragon. He's on Dragon, we're gonna, we're gonna stop that really quickly, but no he's not. Okay, I probably if I land two Qs on him, I can go for a kill. Okay, I might be able to actually kill him now. That's what he gets. That ult is definitely the coolest thing in this skin. All right, so we think Shaco. Oh, Shaco's bot lane. We see him over here, that clown. So we're good to sh I just shove in this wave then, and then we can recall. I do like the W sound effect. After like listening to it there, I was like, wait a second, that actually sounds pretty cool. And we're just gonna be working on our Ludens. Everfrost is very fun on Lissandra, because you can just like perma CC them. But I want the damage. So forget Everfrost. Look, listen to this W sound effect too. Pretty cool. I do want to try ulting myself, but I want I don't want to just randomly ult myself. I want, you know, an actual situation to arise for that to happen. I never rest. Breaking his bone plating. Doing some damages. Okay, we have Kindred coming, so I'm gonna try to not scare him off. 
Don't have ults, but... Ooh. You crazy, Kindred. <laughs> you, you crazy. Oh my god, it actually worked. I think she's dead, though. The Shaco. Yeah, but, I mean, I say worth. We killed that Akshan. Shaco's here somewhere. He's either, like, here or turning invisible and about to, like, stab me. But I don't trust that clown. Oh, there he is. That's what he gets. Leave me alone. The thralls are so, like, so, like, shiny. I love them. I'm gonna shove out one more wave, and then I'm gonna go for the recall here. And sorry, guys, if I seem kind of weird. This is my first time filming a video in a little bit. Um, so I might be a little bit, you know, extra awkward. That word is very annoying to use, but yes, I do feel a little bit like a fish out of water right now. So please bear with me. Okay, let's go for this. Like, I'm actually doing a lot of damage, and even before I had items, I was doing a lot of damage. So that's pretty cool. TP away right there. And run back to Z lane. The outfit looks really cool too. It's very like traditional like Chinese attire, I guess. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, but yeah, it does feel very like traditional attire. But with like a lot of uh, like designs from like porcelain. I do want to know though, does the snake have any sort of like significance? If anyone like knows about like porcelain history, is there like, is that like a common like trope that is used on porcelain like the snake? Or do they just figure like, well it just add it to it because it looks cool. Either way, I like it, but it would be cool if it was like a nod to like tradition. Break that pink word, no pink words allowed, only death is allowed here. And I might even be able to just jump on him and kill him with Ignite. I actually think I can. Like, if he walks up too far, I think I'm just going to go for a... for a kill combo on him. Should we try? I think we should try. Okay, now for sure we should try. Oh, uh, I've cut the cameras. Bring him back. Yeah, I guess I didn't do that much damage. I did less than I thought I would do there, which kind of sucks, but... Oh well. It looks funny, though, because he died, and then he, like, fell onto, like, my dead body, which was, like, a pile of shards, so... Looks painful. Here comes Kindred going for a dive. Is that gonna work out for her? Probably not. I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything here. This world has forgotten. Let's see. My team with like all new skins except for Camille. That's a really cute Trisana skin too. It's like a little tiger. I'm actually a tiger because I was born uh, in 98. So I'm a tiger and this is my year coming up. So hooray for me. Hooray for all my tigers watching this video. I don't think they really need me. They really don't need me, so I'm just gonna shove it out then. I'm a lot of CS up on Ikshan too. Ikshan is uh, not having the best of games. Which is what he deserves. For Shaco killing me in that early engage, he deserves to be 1 in 5. See if I can help Camille though. Her, I probably can actually do something for. Her. Okay, he warded there. If my claw was up, I would try to kill him, but I will have to go the long way. Let's see if Nar goes. Nar is like somewhere here. Ooh, he's mega now though. Okay, Nar. Oh. We can probably actually dive in here. 
Just gonna have to pray Shaco doesn't come and kill me. Okay, never mind. Oh, maybe. Oh my god, wait a second. Calculated. <laughs> Go, my thralls. My porcelain thralls. That was probably the most calculated thing I've ever done in my life. So... You know what I mean? I swear, if I added the candy minion, I'm actually gonna cry. Well, that was good. I tried- I flashed and I think I made Camille actually block like one or two, uh... One or two of the Akshan ults, which might have actually killed me, so... You know. That was good. I'm just patting myself on the shoulder there, basically. But, I, you know, it might be because of the skin. I love how her hair is so long, though. I, I don't know if any other Lissandra skin has hair this long. I don't think Coven does, and I don't... Actually, maybe the Cosmic one does? I don't remember how her hair looked, but it's really pretty. It's very long, and Riot definitely has done a good job with hair in the past, like, few years. I think that Riot didn't know how to make, like, realistically looking good in-game hair for a really long time. But in the recent years, they've done a great job at it, so... Great job, Rioters. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that one. Time to go balling. Okay, time to go balling, and this actually might be really good. I have a Zanyas too. Okay, here's ult myself. Okay, wait, it does look different. Wait, that's so cool. I become a teapot. That's like I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Okay, three seconds and I might be able to kill him here. Oh, here's Kindred. Oh, thank you, Kindred. <gasps> My hero. Leave me alone, clone. <gasps> My hero. Oh, God. Minions. The worst ult in the game, I swear. I think Kindred's here, too. I'm, like, just throwing Qs out because I'm, like, not trusting that Shaco is not coming to kill me. You know what they say, never trust a clown. Okay, gonna get my sword shoes, and then I'm going to work on... Um, now I'll work on Horizon Focus or Shadow Flame. I know I said I was going to get that second, but then I can buy Azanyas all at once, and I was like, wait a second, I'm Lissandra. I need Azanyas. And I got Azanyas. Very cute Tristana skin. So many secrets. Okay, and Nar I can probably one-shot. If he's not in Mega Nar, definitely can one-shot him, but... Meganar might make it a little bit difficult, but we're gonna try anyway, so to the top lane we go. Ooh, with my chemtech fog. No one will remember them. Oh nar, don't they to assess. If I can't kill you, Nar, I'll at least take your chem. I'll be rude. No, I didn't get the cannon. Okay, now him, I'm just gonna... Just gonna do that too really quickly. <laughs> just dump all my abilities on top of him and... You know, unalive him. Shaco's trying to unalive me now. Oh. And I'm gonna try to unalive Shaco. But I'll settle for the ward. Mine. Okay. Let's just leave. I like Horizon Focus on Lissandra, but I think Shadow Flame's just a better item. Horizon Focus is nice because you can always, uh... You can always proc it with, like, your W on multiple people and your R. But I think that Shadow Flame gives more damage overall, so... That's what I will do. 
Goodbye, Camille. Goodbye. Oh, they surrendered. Okay, well guys, that was Porcelain Lissandra. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll show you guys the damage graph before I end it. And by the time you're watching this, I probably have a video on Porcelain Lux out. So if you guys want to see my thoughts on the uh, Lux Porcelain skin, which I know you guys love Lux, this channel is literally just like a Lux skin review channel. I'm pretty sure, not my last video, but the video before that was a Wild Rift new Lux skin review. So now we're having two new skins for Lux on uh, PC League. So great. Uh, this is now the Lux Review Central. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video on Lissandra. And I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. We did the most damage somehow, so that's cool. Okay, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.